What's good, YouTube? Everybody, you you're back again, once again. And today, people, today we're here for episode numero trace of our brand new Pokemon Blaze Glazed Fit Lock. Last episode, you guys, we got our starter that you guys chose, as well as scooped up two other Pokemon for our squad. Uh, now we have to make our way through the dreaded Milkshake Swamp without getting blown back, <laughs> so that we don't have to do any unnecessary exercises for our Fit Lock penalties. Uh, or, no, I'm, I'm done saying penalties for our Fitlock challenges. Boom. Positive mindset right here. Okay, Fitlock challenges. Um, in today's episode, like I said, we're making, it, we're making our way through the Milkshake Swamp. Uh, but we need to scoop up a challenge for today's Fitlock episode. So I'm going to, you know, I should have done this differently. <clears throat> when, it, when we swap, or maybe, maybe after this recording session, I'll redo these. But I did it on sticky notes and then just fold the sticky notes. What I should have done is did it on the back of sticky notes and folded them into themselves. Because the sticky notes are sticking to each other. But, it's fine. Anyways, let us see what today's exercise is going to be. I think I'm going to pull this one right here. Survey says... Sit up! So, <clears throat> if we lose any mons... If we lose any mons in today's episode, whew, we have 10 sit-ups per mon to do. So here's to hoping that we don't lose any mons, because <laughs> I'm not trying to do any sit-ups. <clears throat> I said in uh, at the end of the last episode that I was going to go ahead and get our squad leveled up appropriately so we don't have any wishy-washiness, everyone's on the same par and I did we got this is for Rachel up to level 10 uh, and she learned focus energy and quick attack then we've got our starter that you guys chose Leo our shinks who's he was like level 9 at the end of the last episode anyways we got him to level 10 didn't learn anything new horse our crow gunk is now level 10 he also scooped up some new moves as well astonish and taunt so here's to hoping that we can make our way through here which I think we should be able to do with relative ease considering the fact that we have Rachel and in the grass here most of the mons are either bug or grass type um, I think we got or I guess fighting type because we got Horus here I think we honestly kind of lucked out with Horus because there are so many Weedle and Caterpie uh, there's Badoo in here which Rose Raid's dope but Badoo is god awful to use um, I think the rare encounter in here is a Tangela. And there's Venipedes as well. I was like, I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. So, I don't know. I, I don't think we got the worst mon by any means. But I think the best mon in here so far would have been Tangela. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Horses on the squad. We're good to go. Anyways, we gotta make our way through the Milkshake Swamp. So that we can... I guess ultimately get to Ocean View City. Are we going to find the inventor in here? The inventor and Blake? I'm not sure. Yeah, I knew you wanted to fight, bitch. For the love of bug types! I don't fuck with bugs like that, bro. I just don't fuck with bugs like that, bro. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've said this before. Oh, this thing's level four. Fuck out of here. Pretty sure I said this before, but I have a pact with God. And it says, as long as them bugs, them critters stay outside, we are A-OK. -okay. The moment they come inside, hey, it's game over. It is game over. I'm using all the power within my being to eradicate them. I do not care. I do not give a fuck. It's game over. Not my bugs. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... Do I play this game? Leo was poisoned by the Ivy. So it's a random Mon on your team that gets poisoned. It's not even your lead Pokemon. Oh, I should not have played this game. I should not have played this game. Oh, I forgot this isn't, okay, we're good. I forgot this is, uh, this is third gen Pokemon and your Mons 100% will faint. It's not like they're gonna survive on one and make it out alive. Okay, so we definitely need to keep an eye out for that poison Ivy. Fark that. Fark that big time. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hey, Borp. 
Some trainers will rematch you if you talk to them. Battling trainers over and over can help training go by much faster. Oh, really? Oh, really? Hey, bucko. Oh, my God. Want to have a rematch? Sure. Okay, I just wanted to see if he was going to have, like, higher level mons, I guess. Excuse you? Excuse you? Okay, so a little explanation is probably needed. So I have basically turned my bathroom into like, uh, like a Sasha playpen area, you know, because she's still a puppy. She can't be trusted to just wander around the house on her own, you know. And I didn't want to put her in her kennel while I was recording because I was going to record three episodes today, you know, enough for the whole week. And I guess Sasha. She's so smart. Shebas are such... They're one of the smartest dog breeds. I can only assume what has happened is Sasha, she has just recently learned... <clears throat> okay, this is going to take a lot of explanation. <laughs> okay, so I have baby gates, right? And I put a baby gate in the doorway to keep her from getting out. And at first, I didn't, like, lock the baby gate because, you know, she was just a puppy. I wasn't really worried about it. But she has learned that if she takes her teeth and pulls on the baby gate, she can, like, slide it open and get out. And just now, I heard her collar from around the corner here. And here she comes trotting into view. <laughs> so Sasha has basically pulled the baby gate open and gotten out to come and join us. So I think... I think I'm going to go and put her back now. I could swear I locked the baby gate, but I know she didn't climb over it. But I'm going to go and put her back because she can't be trusted. And I'm, I'm going to be sitting here for 30 minutes and she can't be trusted. She'll be more problematic than anything else sitting in the background trying to jump on Sadie's head and whatnot. So give me one second and I'll be right back. I was so shocked just now. I turned around and there she was. <laughs> She's such a little goblin, I swear. I'm telling you. That's also, or she's also one of the reasons why I haven't been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch um, since <clears throat> I came back from break. Uh, I just, I mean, if I stream on Twitch, I could only stream for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, because I have to put her in her kennel. And I feel bad, like, she's on the other side of the house just by herself all alone, and I'm sitting over here playing video games, so. <clears throat> well, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll test the waters of Twitch here soon, but. Either way, back to what we were doing. <laughs> oh, do I have to step through? No, I don't. Okay. I was going to say, do I have to step through that? That's garbage. Can we do a double battle? Hmm. Hmm. Let's get you two together. I don't think it's going to be a double battle. Swamps are home to tons of bugs. Yes! Let's fucking do it! Double your pleasure. Double your fun and dance forever, ever, ever, 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 forever, 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 you know what? I know what moves Krogunk has. Frick this. Actually, I'm gonna astonish them. Frick this. Get this out of here, bro. Oh. Oh! I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to double team that, uh, whatchamacallit. Mmm. Mmm! The Metapod. Yeah, you're just a novice. Get the fuck out of the way, bro. I really want a new encounter. I'm not gonna lie. I like my squad as it is now, but I just want to catch some more Pokemon. It's such a pain wading through this mud. Through the mud, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow your roll, buddy. Can I make it back? How much health do I lose with each step? One. 
Do we play this game? I mean, I have an antidote. Ugh, I'm not gonna make it back. Damn it. Um. Okay, I used an antidote just now. Oh, pfft. I was sitting there calculating like, oh, another Mon's gonna get poisoned too. You can just jump off the ledge. You don't even have to jump through the poison ivy. What? Or at least there you don't have to jump through the poison ivy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeet. <clears throat> okay. Once we get to a certain point in the milkshake swamp, there's no turning back. So, not trying to have any issues with that. Bro, <laughs> Sasha, she's such a fucking cute little goblin. Turned a corner and she's just trotting up to be like this, her tail just wagging. <laughs> She's so funny, like, she's so fucking funny because, like, the way when she, like, happy trots, her feet kind of, like, her front legs kind of go like this as she walks. Like, she doesn't walk like this. She kind of just goes back and forth, swings her feet back and forth like this as she walks. She's so fucking adorable. Anyways. Anyways. Enough of Sasha. Let us move on. And before anyone can say anything, hold on. Come here, say girl. Come here, baby. Yes, my say the girl's still here. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. A lot of people were like, uh, you have a new dog, Nappy? What happened to Sadie? Nothing happened to Sadie. Yes, my baby. She's still my baby girl. Mm, yeah, yes, my baby. Alright, get down. Get down. We gotta get through the milkshake swamp, Sadie. I love you. Don't get me wrong. But we gotta get through the milkshake swamp. It's vitally important that we get through the milkshake swamp. Okay. Okay! Focused. Focused. Puppers are over here. Focused. <clears throat> What's up, bro? He said this swamp is awesome. Bro? Let's get Horus some play here, dog. Yeah, boy. Let's get Rachel some play here. I mean, Leo some play here, boy. Since, uh... Rachel's gonna get enough leveling in the swamp as it is. Let's... When I can, I'll use Horus and Leo. But Rachel's still gonna be the, the go-to for this. Whoa, bro, what the shit? Can I talk to this guy? Bizarre symbols are carved along the base of these columns. I'm trying to decipher them. What, what, what they say? <gasps> ah, Nappy, you came at just the right time. As I suspected, another grunt snuck back while our backs were turned. Look up there by that tablet. Oh, and he's still here? I thought they said they got what they came for. They were done. He seems very suspicious. He must be up to no good. Do you want to see a member of the Elite Four in action, Nappy? Come with me, then. Inventor, it's best you stay here where it's safe. They, they refer to, like, does this nigga not have a name? Like, Inventor, is that, do they call him that as, like, a title? Like, Doctor or Professor? Inventor. I thought I ran you scum off with your tail between your legs. <clears throat> I snuck back here to get the information I was employed to find. They will welcome me back at headquarters like a hero. I have no time to play games with the Pokemon League now. So long, idiots. Man, you just shoved him out the way. This tablet. Are you two alright? You scared off that grunt good and proper, it seems. Wow, amazing. Mm. I'm done here for now. It's getting nasty. Thank you, Blake and Nappy, for assisting me. It's getting nasty. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Yo, I gotta bounce. It's getting nasty. <laughs> Blake and Nappy, thank you for assisting me. Please take this. A Pokecom? What the fuck? That Pokecom is a device of my own invention. It translates Pokemon speech into human speech and vice versa. Hopefully it will help on your journey. Text translated. <laughs> In a world. Here comes the narrator. This is Arceus. Text translated with the Pokecom will be displayed with the, this color text. So does that mean we can understand the Pikachu now? I'll be going home to my... I'll be going to my home now. I'll be much happier there where I can work in peace. See you around, Nappy. So this is like, That's So Raven meets Dr. Doolittle. Boom. <clears throat> These ruins are amazing. Why are they here? What, uh, what happened? Did I slip through the universe again? Hey, it's raining. Horace's rain dish about to come in handy. What? 
Is this the dude from the first episode? Oh, I thought I heard a commotion. Do you remember me? My name is Luke. I was the one that brought you back to your room last time. It is. As I predicted, you managed to skip to slip through again. I'm kind of in a rush, so I have to hold off explaining again. Would you mind helping me? I'm looking for a mudkip that's wandered off. It's somewhere around here, but I can't find it. Anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. I'd appreciate it if you could look around for me. If you find it, I'll explain what's happening as best I can. I completely forgot. Let me heal your Pokemon for you. Shut the fuck out, bro. By the way, if you guys haven't seen the new Doolittle film, it was okay. It was very rushed. It was okay, at best. I could see them making a sequel, but the sequel will need to be much better. Thank you for your help, Nappy. If we see him more, I'll give him more of a significant voice. Wait, is this a new area or is this still the milkshake swamp? We are in the green swamp. So can I get an encounter? I don't think so. We gonna keep this mud kit? Hey, bro! Bring that ass back here. You don't be acting like no farfetch now. A max ether. Wow, they're just giving you items all willy nilly, bro. Oh, I bet you this is where he's gonna end up at. Cause what's the point in that little hallway right there, bro? Like, come on. Mudkip disappeared into the mud. Did he disappear? Okay, my boy really did whole ass just up and fucking disappear. All right, I'll take it back. Oh, the mudkip attacked. We about to get a mudkip on the squad, bro. It's already level 9. He fits right on the team. Get in the fucking Pokeball, nigga. Yeah, you can mud slap me all you want, bro. Yeah, boy. God damn it. Give me that motherfucker right there, boy. <laughs> yeah. On land, it can powerfully lift large boulders by planting its four feet and heaving. It sleeps by burying itself in soil at the water's edge. How does it breathe? Does it have gills? Can a mudkip breathe on land and in water? Um, what are we gonna name this? I already knew it. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. It's my nigga Lester. I'm thinking like, as a swampert, what are we naming him? It's my nigga Lester. Boy, tackle, growl, and mud slap. Let us proceed. We oh, got a fucking mud kid, dog. What the fuck? Hey, bro, that'd be excellent work. The portal to your universe is working again, but you have to hurry before it shuts again. I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Get to the portal. Hey, I got what I came here for, dog. Yeah, boy. But we couldn't get uh, any Pokemon in there. Okay, so that was a portal. It's an ancient ruin, but that was a portal. I'm trying to, like, catalog these things in my head. These columns are in proportion with the golden ratio. Even a thousand years ago, math was important. What the fuck is the golden ratio? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, that would have been terrible. What is the golden ratio? Hey, another lesson? Google everything. Google everything. I Google shit like 12 times a day. You'll be surprised how much shit you learn and how much stuff you retain. Google everything. Golden ratio is 1.618033988875. In mathematics, two quantities are in the golden ratio if their ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger of the two qualities. Quantities. Okay. Never 
Never mind. It's math. We're good. <laughs> All right. Oh, yo. I almost dropped my phone just now. I got to tell you guys, I dropped the fuck out of my phone like a month ago. I had my phone in my hand like this, right? And I was like, I was looking at it and I was going to get out of the car. And for whatever reason, I had my phone in my hand like this. And I went to reach up, like, just like this. I went to reach up to grab my car door, like I was in the driver's seat. And I stepped out with the idea that I was going to close the door behind me as I stepped out. For whatever reason, I had my hand up like this. And the phone slipped out of my hand from the top of my car door. So it was like a clean, like, six-foot drop and landed face down. Literally went on concrete. And I thought to myself, I've dropped my phone two dozen times. I've never gotten a crack. If there was one time that I drop a phone and it's going to result in a fucking crack, it would be that time. And at first I picked it up and I didn't see anything. And I was like, oh my God, what the shit? But I did crack it. It's very tiny. And I'm pretty sure that it's just on the screen cover. So the screen itself is not cracked. So, <sighs> but it scared the shit out of me. Like I... I would, I honestly wouldn't have even been mad if my entire screen had just spiderwebbed at that point, because it was one hell of a fucking drop, and it literally landed smack dab, parallel, face down on concrete, and I was like, oh my lord. <sighs> These columns weigh nearly five tons. I wonder how ancient peoples managed to move them here. Hey, you need to watch some ancient aliens, bro. You gotta watch some ancient aliens, bro. You know, I know that Ancient Aliens is like a meme and a lot of people are into it, but I started watching it uh, a couple months ago just out of fun. Fun. You know, like, uh, I was bored one night and I didn't want to start a new series or anything. And, bro, I gotta say, Ancient Aliens has some of the craziest fucking bullshit I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. And what makes me so upset about the show is that there are some times when they have really, really good theories, and you think to yourself, like, hmm, okay, and then, like, they continue, and they elaborate on it, and I'm just like, you stupid motherfucker, like, that's what you believe, like, you had me, and then you said that, like, there was this one episode I was watching, and they were talking about, like, uh, ancient underwater civilizations, and, like, underwater formations, because, you know, like, uh, polar caps have melted, uh, over the millennia, and oceans have, uh, risen up, and covered cities, and, of course, they spoke about Atlantis. And this stupid, goofy motherfucker on Ancient Aliens says, uh, you know, it's uh, documented so many different times that, you know, Atlantis didn't just gradually disappear. You know, it disappeared violently in a, in a huge plume of, uh, smoke and fire. And I, the first thing that comes to mind is like, okay, well, they had, like, a volcanic eruption. It's not unheard of. You know, the city of Pompeii disappeared like that. Well, it didn't disappear, but you know what I mean. This motherfucker looks dead in the camera and says, I believe that Atlantis was a home base for aliens on planet Earth. And when it was time for them to leave, they got into their spaceship, which was the city of Atlantis, and the entire thing rose up and went into space. I was like, you stupid motherfucker, what's wrong with you, dog? Come on! An entire city is a fucking spaceship? And that's your explanation? You're seriously gonna sit here and try and convince me that an entire fucking city- Like, just imagine the city of Tucson or the city of New York just- Just took off. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. But hey, crazy shit like that is why this series is so popular and why it's been around for so long. They had an episode, uh, you guys know I love history. They had an episode of, um, Ancient Aliens and the Third Reich, Nazis. And, like, two minutes into the episode, you know, they're giving you, like, a brief overview of, like, you know, like, trying to hook you in to watch the entire episode. And they said something about, um, the Nazis had access to alien technology. And immediately I thought, no, they didn't. <laughs> if these motherfuckers had access to other world ancient technology, we would all be speaking German right now. I wouldn't even be here right now if the motherfucking Nazis took, like, come on, like, really? Really, dog? And of course, they had a whole bunch of stuff. There was some stuff that was in that episode about the Nazis that was very interesting. Like I said, I love history. World War II is one of my favorite periods in history. But I was just like, bro, come on. 
You do not seriously sit there. Come on, bro. Anyways, enough about ancient aliens. Get the fuck out of this swamp. This is the right way, right? Because I can't go any further up here. Yes? And I came from this way. Yeah, 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 because that's what's his name. Oh, shit! This nigga has Hawkeyes! My Pokemon is unstoppable. Alright, bro, bring it on. Your Pokemon is unstoppable. This is what we're doing? A wing attack! Oh, shit! Oh, it's game over. We don't need Peck. It's game over, bro. Woo boy! Woo boy! Look at this wing attack. Look at how powerful it is. Dunzo. Wiped off the face of the earth, bro. Get out of here. That crow gunk <laughs> just took off, bro. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, I said I was gonna use. Oh, I need to heal up Lester, bro. I temporarily forgot that Lester even existed. Wait. I know I looked at him already. Okay, he doesn't have water type move. I'm searching for ancient artifacts that might have belonged to the people who lived in this swamp long ago. Ancient aliens? Are you searching for ancient aliens, bro? I really hope that we are almost to the end of this. Oh, look at that! Oh, free XP time? Alright, buck. Alright, bucko! Buddy! What's going on here, bro? Uh, I tell you this, dog. But I don't think Rachel is going to let you get out of here. She about to change your schedule. <clears throat> A Metapod. Um, let's, go, let's let Leo handle this. Is Metapod? Okay, he is not. I was going to say, is he part grass or is he pure bug? That's some shit I should know. I know that. Motherfucking butterfree, nigga. Bring it on, motherfucker. Bring it on, bitch! Excuse me. Such unnecessary cursing. Oh. Oh. Everyone's upset. Bam. Bro, that fucking spark came in handy, dog. That paralysis came in handy because that motherfucker uh, lowered my speed too and everything. Free XP time? You meant for me. Thanks, bro. Why would you say yay? You just got your ass handed to you, dog. What the fuck are you saying yay for? Ocean View Park. Hey, are you a Pokemon trainer? Forget. I want to help you. Take this. Oh, shit. Titty Milk. She's not even here anymore. Moon Milk is delicious. It restores 100 HP if you give it to your Pokemon. Did you come from the Milkshake Swamp? I hear it's real nasty in there. Y'all gotta stop. Show some respect to the swamp, bro. You know, if you disrespect the swamp, the swamp's gonna disrespect you back. You show some respect to the swamp, the swamp's gonna respect you back. Stop calling it nasty. The way that the pond sparkles is simply beautiful. I could stare out at it all day. I want that item ball, but I need cut first. Oh, damn, it's a shame, bro. I Oh, I can speak to it! I love spending time with my trainer. She's so friendly, and it's great to come to the park every now and then. I really want a shiny Sentret in Pokemon Go. I feel like in Pokemon Go, there are certain Pokemon that I have clicked on more than enough times to you should just give me the fucking shiny. And I answer, put that bitch in my game. I don't give a fuck no more. My Sentry was the first Pokemon I captured. I love it more than any other Pokemon. Strolling in the park is very calming. Don't you feel at ease around here? We made it to Ocean View City. Why is the Pokemon so far away from the rest of town? <sighs> I get exhausted just walking here from my house. Hey, this motherfucker needs to do a fit lock, bro. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Repels, antidotes, they have everything here. If you want to buy something, just talk to the man. Why do I keep talking to everybody? Because I want them to give me shit. See? I was talking about that in the last episode. And I would have ran right past that chick at the, at the beginning of town and would have never gotten that moo moo milk. That's why I talked to everybody. How may I serve you? Oh, I have no fucking money. Well, how many antidotes do we have? I'll do that. Just, just because. Just because I can. Just because I can. Ocean View Park is just this way. It's a great place to get fresh air without going off into the wilderness. Hey, bro. We made it. Ocean View City has a harbor, but it's not as big as the harbor in Sea Spray Town. Wish I had an Eevee. Said no one ever. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that I was younger so I could travel the world, but I've lived a good life so I don't need to be sad. 
Okay, so we have made it to the milkshake swamp. We didn't lose any Pokemon. We had a cameo from Sasha. We chatted about ancient fucking aliens. And we got a goddamn Mudkip, damn it. So I think we have completed quite a bit in today's episode. I think, um, should I get Lester caught up? I'll get him to level 10. It's one level. It's the big deal. And then we'll use Horus and Lester in the next episode. Like, that's literally how I play Pokemon. I say this because <laughs> it's not like I haven't... <laughs> this isn't our 85th LP on this channel. But, like, ever since I was a kid, I always played Pokemon like this. Like, I, I guess I learned my lesson the hard way as a kid. Like... I feel like everyone has done this at one point or another in their life, where you just basically use one Pokemon and only one Pokemon for the entire playthrough. Like, it's an unintentional solo run. I remember as a kid, I used to do it with my Blastoise and my Charizard in Gym 1. And I guess I just learned the hard way that it's like, I would rather just keep all of our Pokemon at the same level as we go than to, like, let one Pokemon get way too overleveled and then get to a point in the game where, like, let's say I have a Charizard and I have to go up against... A water type gym leader you know obviously you're gonna get blown away so instead of waiting until then to grind up your mons from like level 10 to 60 it's better to just keep an even team the entire way around so and I always have like checkpoints in my head like level 10 level 13 level 16 20 25 very OCD about shit like that but I'll get Lester up to 10 and then in the next episode we'll try to focus more so on Leo Lester and Horus and get them up to level 13 to match Rachel so until then, this series is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thank you guys so much for your love and loyalty, and I'll catch you guys on Friday with some more Pokemon Blaze Glazed Fitlock. <laughs>